on last turn we have studied proportion and when four numbers a b c and d are in proportion then we say a upon b is equals to c upon d where b and c are the mean proportion and d is the fourth proportion also we say a and d are the extreme proportion this we have studied in the last turn today we will study about on last turn we have studied proportion that is when four numbers a b c and d are in proportion then a upon b is equals to c upon d where a and d are the extreme proportion b and c are the mean proportion and d is known as the fourth proportion today we will study about continued proportion in continued proportion three numbers a b and c as a two in continued proportion if a b b and c are in proportion that is a upon b is equals to b upon c here you can see we are having the number in continuation that is a b and c b and c so here the numbers are in continuation whereas we have studied in proportion that the numbers are like this a b and c and d here these are not in continued proportion these numbers a b and c are in continued proportion continuation therefore they, it is known as continued proportion now in this b is known as the mean proportion that two between a and and c is known as the third proportion whereas in simple proportion we say d as the fourth proportion since it is the fourth number here c is the third number therefore it is known as the third proportion now we know that if a b c are in continued proportion then we can cross multiply it as we have multiplied in the proportion so we will get a into c is equals to b into b and we can write it as b square is equals to a into c or we can say b is equals to root of ac thus we can say that b is the positive square root of the product of the given two quantities that is the two quantities are a and c and it is the square root of a and c now let us see some examples based on it 8 12 x r in continued proportion then we have to find the value of x now how to solve this now since 8 12 and x are in continued proportion that is 8 12 and x are in continued proportion so we can compare it with a b and c when a b c are in continued proportion what do we write we write as we write as a upon b is equals to b upon c so here what can we write from this that is 8 upon 12 is equals to 12 upon 
x. Now simply by cross multiplying as we used to solve the questions of proportion same in the same way we can solve this question this implies that x into 8 is equals to 12 into 12. What we have done? We have just simply cross multiplied it. So we can write it as x is equals to 12 into 12 upon 8 and we know how to solve this. We can cancel it by 4 2 times and it 3 times. Again we can cancel it the 2 with 1 and 2 with 6. That is x is equals to 18. So the value of x is 18. Next example the mean proportion between 2 and 8. Now we know there are two numbers and we have to find the mean proportion that is the number should be in continued proportion. So how to solve this? This means we have to find the mean proportion. So let us assume the mean proportion be. So we can say that 2x, x and 8 are in proportion. So we can write it as 2 upon x is equals to x upon 8. And on cross multiplying it we get 2 into 8 is equals to x into x. Or we can say x square when we multiply two numbers, when, when we multiply the same numbers we get square then x square is equals to 16 or we can say that x is equals to 4. Here we will think of a number which when multiplied by itself we get 16. So we get 4 into 4. Since we are multiplying x into x so we are having 4 into 4 so value of x will be 4. So the mean proportion between 2 and 8 is 4. Let us see some word problems based on ratio. The ratio of length of a playground to its width is 5 is to 2. Then to find its length if its width is 20 meter. Now how to solve this question? See here we have given the ratio of length to width. So first let us write length to width. It will be equals to 5 upon 2. Since it is given the ratio of length to width is 5 is to 2. Now we also know that the value of its width is 20 meter. So we can write in front of width as 20 meter and let us assume that the length be x meters. So now from this we get 5 is to 2 is equals to 20 upon is equals to x upon 20. Now we can simplify it 5 upon 2 is equals to x upon 20 it will give x is equals to 5 upon 2 into 20. What I have done? I have taken 20 on the other side since it is getting divided by x so there uh, when I will take it on the opposite side of the equals to it will get multiplied by 5 by 2. So 2 will cancel 20 10 times so x will be equals to 50. Now what is x? We have assumed x as the length of the playground. So it will be equals to 50 meter. Now if you want to if you want to check your answer you can see it that we are given the ratio of length upon width as 5 is to 2. So if I divide length that is 50 by the width which is given by 20 then I will get 
5 upon 2 since the two zero uh, since the zeros will get cancelled and it will be equals to 5 upon 2. So our answer is correct.